There is a new version of Subtitle Edit. Actually, it was released about four days ago, and it's Subtitle Edit 4.0.8. Now, uh, mostly uh, they're more or less like bug fixes, but there are a couple of new highlights. And as you can see, there's batch mode uh, for generating transparent video with subtitles, which is highly welcome, especially if you have the videos and the subtitles ready to go. Next up, we have uh, a pixel format parameter in the burning feature, which is highly welcome and also new auto translate uh, AIs and many bug fixes. So if you look at the change log, it's right here, you'll see the batch mode for generate transparent uh, uh, video with subs and then the pixel format. And now we have the chat GPT, GPT 4O-mini model and also Grok translation, that is Grok. We also have open router and also some custom uh, shortcut exports uh, templates. We also have web VTT setting for split of style tags. And then there is also support for Portuguese code page and Kavena 890 Greek support. And then add do not break after and the rest of the things right here. Now, one of the other things that has been improved is this particular option, improve generate transparent video with subs. That is box settings. This is a highly welcome feature as well. I wish it was added also to the burn in window. That is something that I'd, uh, I'd highly appreciate. Now let's uh, look at it. And here's subtitle edit 4.0.8. I've downloaded, installed, and gone uh, and added, obviously, the video player. MPV is available. Some other things uh, that I've added. Uh, FFmpeg. And also downloaded some few whisper options here. Uh, just to do some few uh, testing. So I can just open a video. And once I do that, I'll just go to video, audio to text, whisper. And then for this, I'm going to go with the engine const to me and then the base. Click on generate to just get some quick subtitles for uh, demonstration purposes. And here we have them. So for example, we've got a couple of new translation engines uh, right here. That is ChatGPT, GPT-4, Omini, Grok, and then Open Router. Uh, so what you do is once you have your subtitles here, go to auto translate, auto translate, and you can see what you have here. We have chat GPT. So you have an API key and put it here. And if you want to choose a model right here, uh, next up, we also have Grok right there. So seems like Grok is also using Llama. There we go. You can put an API key and so on and so forth. But I'm going to do some uh, further reading on this uh, to see if it's something we can just install the way we are installing uh, Olama and all that. And then we have open router right here. Yeah, it seems also it's also using Llama and Pro if it's if that is uh, the way it's using it, uh, then probably we can have it uh, with the default one that's installed. Uh, right inside uh, the computer. So that's really welcome. And as you can see, there are a ton of translation uh, options available, LM Studio. Uh, we also have Olama. And then we have Anthropic Cloud. All this, Papago, Deep, DeepL, and so on and so forth. So if you're looking for automated translations, you have a wide array of things to choose from. And obviously, we have the Facebook ones. Uh, this one's here. Uh, no language left behind. Uh, that is have and no language left behind API. There's just a ton of things right here. Uh, so if you install that as well, you can use either of those uh, to actually uh, auto translate your subtitles in subtitle edit. Now, uh, that's that. If we go to the generate transparent video with subtitles, this one, as I mentioned, we have some new box settings, which is highly welcome. There's some very good boxes right here that you can use for anything that you want, uh, especially when you're creating uh, transparent subtitles. That is exporting subtitles uh, MOV with alpha, uh, if I may say that. So you can check the opaque box and then tune this to what you want and so on and so forth. Uh, text color, outline, shadow, and then changing your fonts and so on and so forth uh, and then generate. But obviously what has been introduced is batch mode if I click on that, you'll get this option where you can add subtitles. And once you add subtitles right inside there, it's going to pick up the video for that is uh, respective to that particular subtitle right there. Uh, and then uh, always remember, okay, 
just uh, to go back for this particular option always remember when using batch mode there are these three dots here use source resolution this is going to make sure that everything uh, is exported based on these resolutions and then if you're exporting a movie I've noticed it's more or less of a bug uh, but if you select this option after putting in your videos that's what I found it's going to remain as the default MKV so if you wanted to select a movie you select these options right after selecting the source so select your source resolution and then select this and then add in your subtitle files with the respective videos so uh, let's assume uh, this is not the video for that you can just right click pick a video and then go pick the right video for that uh, but this is highly welcome uh, because you can just drop in your files here and then generate transparent uh, video with subtitles for those particular uh, subtitles and use them in a non-linear editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Camtasia and so on and so forth. And I'd highly recommend when uh, exporting batch videos always use MOV even if you're doing for single videos uh, with uh, transparent video with subtitles. Always use the MOV extension. It's going to be recognized by most video uh, by most video editing applications. So that's that. Once you're done, you can generate. Uh, so what else? Let's see. We have this preview option. Okay, there's an error. Ignore. There's still an error. Access path. Okay. Uh, one thing I know I've noticed is right now because I've run it for the first time. If I come back, it's going to actually go through. So let's see. Uh, preview hmm. so it seems until I close it let us see why we're getting that error but I'm almost sure that we now have that particular file uh, inside uh, our folder audit text whisper generate there we go video uh, transparent video with subtitles preview still not working uh, there could be an issue here but the preview normally is to show you how the subtitles are going to look like in the long run uh, I feel it should be like what we have in the burning uh, window uh, in right here I believe we should have it like this such that you can be able to preview what your subtitles look like before doing anything so if you want to make any changes right here you can make those particular changes uh, the way you want uh, right inside here before uh, instead of clicking preview all the time uh, but that is subtitle edit 4.0.8 uh, that's more or less what's new uh, not a ton of things uh, but if you'd like to download it obviously you go to now available click on that it takes you to the github page you can just scroll down slightly uh, choose whatever works for you I'll go with setup and then download install but always make sure if uh, you have some settings saved always save your settings otherwise uh, it's going to overwrite your settings uh, especially if you have custom profiles for advanced substation alpha styles and any other things that you have custom styles for so that's subtitle edit 4.0.8 I hope this tutorial is of value to you thanks for watching